Hi, this is Taylor Libinati, and today we're going to draw a beach bucket along with other beach assortments. Uh, we're just going to rough out a rectangle that opens up at the top, however large or small you want that. And then the only other shape that really goes into a beach bucket is the U handle above it. So just kind of keep going back and forth until you see that shape forming. Kind of get it down a little more. Um, so then from there, we can draw where the attachment of the handle will be, just with a slight little circle. Kind of give it a couple ridges. And then from there, we can start to harden in the handle. So I'm going to go ahead and erase these other ones. And of course we want to make a parallel line to that so that the handle can have some thickness to it. And then follow it down behind the bucket. Okay, now that we have the handle we can go ahead and draw in the bucket itself. The top, depending on the angle you want, can be very flat or you can show some line behind it to give it that 3D circular feel. And then on the edges, just follow the line down. And give the bottom a slight curve to it. So after you have that shape, you can uh, map out some finer details. Maybe give it a ridge at the top and bottom. And then if you, if you want to add in shading, the shading for a um, spherical shape like this that's smooth is typically very simple. You can just start by choosing one side to be your dark side. And then just with straight lines, go ahead and let it lighten up as you get to the edges. Maybe have it darken a little more. And that'll give it a more spherical feel. Okay, from there we can add in some other fun shapes, maybe a, uh, a sand scooper, we'll say. So for the actual scoop, we will map out uh, a 3D triangle, much like a block of cheese, and then plan where the handle is going to extend from. And then rather than having the top here connect, we'll just show a groove that's coming down to give it a scoop feel. So there's our scoop. Maybe we'll add a beach ball to the side. And to do that, I'm just going to lightly uh, form a circle, which helps me see where the circle needs to be. So when I darken it, it has a very organic feel. And then we can add in the actual pattern that a beach ball has, which is just smaller circles extending from the side. Uh, from there, we'll just add a nice little beach scene, maybe a hilltop amongst water. And there you have your beach scene. This is Taylor Libinati, and that was how to draw a beach bucket.